one of the things that I noticed is that if you don't, when you're writing your book in either past tense or present tense, um, you have to make sure you stay that way. And like I said, be intentional. Um, if you want to write a book with multiple perspectives, you're going to have to use that third person type of writing style where you can jump scenes to different people or you can talk about, you can narrate the book as it's occurring. Because if you don't, it's going to throw your book out, out of order. And I made the mistake because I was uh, editing and I really wanted to show a dialogue between two characters inside my book, but now I'm gonna have to go back and redo it because of that purpose, that issue that I'm having. And um, but you know, it's it's like I said, it's writing the book is work, guys. It's fun once you get used to it, and you get you get you a good editor who um, knows what to look for and knows how to assist you and make you a better writer. After the first book, the second book is gonna be smooth selling. But anyways, and another thing is, guys, um, I know I, I did um, pr previously, I, I did a video a little while ago, but I want to show you guys exactly what I mean by, you know, concentrating and you want to sit down and you want to make sure you are planning your book out so that way you are not wasting any necessary steps or you're not missing anything. So here's something that I do. Here's something that I like to do. So here's, here's a, here's a say, this is a book I did that I have. All right, um, sticky notes, yarn, because this helps me make sure that everything that I write is connecting and it's making sense. My plots are making sense. Um, you know, I leave messages about certain events that's gonna happen inside the book. I start off my book at the beginning and then I just go from chapter by chapter, or not even chapter by chapter to say, but I'm, 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 doing, I'm going by event, event, event by event. So I'm making sure that that way I'm making sure that all of my plot holes are being not only in my writing, in my writing uh, events of what's going on in the book, but they also are connecting. And this usually all connects together like this at the end of the book. The book should end like this. Everything has connected to one pot, one spot. So this is how I actually write my books. And if you don't like doing this, if this is not your thing, boom. We have dry erase boards, dry erase boards. Set your goals, um, make sure you get your iPad, notepad. It doesn't matter, whatever you want, uh, but you have to make sure you are storyboarding your chapters accordingly and you're not missing anything. That's one of the most important parts is to storyboard and you don't want to miss any detail because if you do and you start querying agents and all these things that you have written in the book in your book are pretty much we don't know what's going on with they don't know what's going on they know they, they read something that that you mentioned that was important but you didn't you, you missed you forgot to build it back in you forgot to fill that plot hole and you forgot to connect the story then that's going to be an issue because down the line a lot of people are just pre you're going to pass on your book even though it's a good book they're probably just going to pass on it because you are you are demonstrating a type of competency. So you want your credibility to be there. You want that agent to depend on you as a writer to go back and if something needs to be fixed, they you want them to depend on you and know that you can do that. You have the capabilities to do that. Um, but as far as this guys, um, edits, I mean, writing is important, guys. Writing is important. But like I said, one thing that I've noticed, and this is just just based off my first book. I wrote my children's book. My, my children's book is actually published on Amazon now on um, KDP. You can search my name up. It's uh, Isaac Lewis. Um, um, you can check out my, my, ch my children's book, which I publish independently. But however, for my novel, I want to go to a more traditional means because I think it's just a little more, it's a little easier for me to get into the, break into the field by using these traditional means and methods. And I, I have a, I think I have a great story. A lot of people is gonna have a great story, guys. Um, if, like I said, if you spend time like I have, and <laughs> here I am, what? Almost nine months, uh, nah, I can't even say that. Um, almost eight months in and through the editing and the writing process here i am i'm actually trying to uh, i'm at the last stage of of writing 
of writing and, and editing and it's 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 amazing because we're at the fresh at the new year at the, basically january 2nd so we have so much more to do so much more to accomplish and while i'm querying this book i'm going to start on book two like book two is going to be i'm going to be starting book two because don't stop um but I don't know, man. This is just stuff, things, things that I like to do. And also, um, how, I, how, now how did I fall into writing? How did I fall into writing? I'm gonna show you guys. So when I was in college, guys, I can tell you right now, this is a true testament. This is a true story. I was 19 years old. I was 19, oh, no, I was, 20, I was 20 years old, actually. And my first English class, my first English, uh, English class, I, I did terrible guys. I bombed I bombed English. I didn't know I didn't know I was that bad at writing until I got to English. And it wasn't that I was bad at writing, it was like grammar punctuation, stuff like that, like technical stuff that I had no idea. It was just, you know, I was a, a kid that came from a background that was pretty much low socioeconomic area um, area and the that wasn't taught that wasn't held that wasn't a priority in my in the household like surviving was the priority not education i know it's sad to say but even as a child there are people or kid children who are um unfortunately cannot get the full benefits out of a public education because they are focused the house the household is focused on surviving so what i did was guys uh, um, my degrees in psychology i uh, went to the i started off at I started off at the um, at the University of Stephen of Austin, but then I, I actually transferred over and and finished at the University of Houston downtown and in psychology because I, I I fell in, I fell in love with psychology and I still have some of the same some of the same books that I have I love physics um, I taught myself programming. Um, Forensic interview, of course, that's part of my job, and you know, and I read often. I love history. History is my favorite. Um, my wife loves Harry Potter, but I, I'm I'm into behavior science. That's that's my type of that's my type of genre. And um, through all, all this, through all the reading and all the writing that I've learned, all the technical writing, because I have a master's degree in business administration too, as well. Um, through all that. I discovered a passion for writing and writing has become not even writing itself but also just more so of creating stories we're all building epics that's what I've grown um, interested in that's what I'm attuned to now and that's like kind of like my thing now this world that I built in my head up here for my book it's um, it's it's exciting to go into I like retreating to it when I come home especially from work and when I'm not writing um, I'm just always creating um, my first um, my first crossword puzzle book that I spent it took me about a, a couple of weeks to do this one published on Amazon um, I, I have a notebook that I, I've, I've that's now available on Amazon as well it's matte black finish you know and these are things that these are, these are just things that you know you could do as a author creator entrepreneur you can do whatever you want you know you want to be a business influencer you want to be a social media influencer this is stuff that you can do but as you if you want to be an author or writer or creator honing your craft is going to be the best thing you can do for yourself and like I said, always continue to read, 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 because you never know where and you're like you never know where inspiration will come from, and even even when you you're not reading, you're always you're watching a movie, you're watching something, you're watching some type of some form of media, social media, where inspiration comes in walks of life that you have nothing that you would never know. It, it comes, it will come, it come. If you have a book idea and you you know how you don't know you don't know how to start it you don't know how to finish it, don't worry guys, it will come to you. I don't know how else to say it. Um, time is your friend. Um, if you haven't watched my video about time, watch the video about time um, because I'm telling you to simply start doing now. If you got the actions and you're creating 
opportunities for yourself and you're not missing them, then you're going to continue to move forward anyway. That's that whole fall forward um, concept and philosophy that I like to have. I just thought it was time. It's just time to vlog a little bit more, guys, and show you guys where I'm coming from. And but I'm almost done editing this book, and I'm gonna try to. We're gonna no. We're gonna knock it out. This this book will be knocked out today. And um, once we once we get this book knocked out, we're gonna hit it with a spell check, and we're gonna start querying. Start querying, guys. I mean, not at what? I can tell you, let's eight months, eight months, guys. And um, this is eight months of, of it's eight months of pure writing and editing. And it's just, it's time. You know, you made it this far. We got this far. Um, top of the year. It's the top of the year, 2022. The business is good. The business is good. It's it's moving along. Um, money's being made, and now it's to we have to execute, 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 execute. So that's what we're doing now. You got to make sure that you're staying consistent, be disciplined. This is the best time to do it, guys. If you have ever had a time to yourself where you needed to do something, where you need to be disciplined, where you need to focus and follow through, now's the time. Um, as you get older you're going to lose a lot of that prime that you have in you. Like starting now is one of the best things that you can do for yourself as a entrepreneur, a Arthur, a writer. I don't care what it is that you're doing. Now is the time the best to do that. It's, it's down the time, guys. But I don't know. And um, hopefully it's... I'm going to have to turn the heat on. My wife is sure. Uh, it's, it's cold in here. But big announcement. Book has just been, we just went through the final edits. Got the wife is sitting here with me. We just finished the edits. The last chapter is completed. It's in PDF form and it's ready to be queried, don't you think? I think so, I knew, I knew it is. The book is ready to be queried, guys. Um, now, if you haven't noticed, it's by far the journey, go back and check out the journey I started um my first video is about editing this book started to appear in november so as of now it is january 2nd it's sunday and it is finished it's done when i tell you that the final draft is done i just sealed it and it's in pdf form it's ready to be queried ready to be signed still delivered what a way to start the new year huh so it, good good it's a good time it's pretty good so what, what do you what do you think as far as the amount of time what do you think about the this can you describe what it was like as far as watching me sitting sitting here for hours i will say it i was exhausted for you and not only you sitting here for hours because the amount of hours that you had to put in by extension then you had to come back and go hey go and read this go and do that so it didn't seem like it was much time but like as long as it was taking and dumping on you and life still was going on it was a lot, it was a lot, I'm not gonna lie. So, so I don't know, can't imagine how it was for you, but from my perspective, it was like a lot. So guys, I will say this, when you have someone who has goals and dreams and you wanna support them, hey, be prepared for them to be busy and just kind of, you know, make it work together as a team. Do you know, is there anybody else who know my book better than you? I don't, you, <laughs> you're the author. <laughs> but, 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 how many times have you read the book? Uh, four. Four times. I don't know how many times I read it. And that's in, in its entirety. That doesn't count the time when we go through chapter different chapters at a time. So I really honestly don't know how many times <laughs> I've gone through it. So, and just like that, guys, like I said, it's the top, we're at top of the year, January 2nd, 2022. Look, obviously there's a lot of time left in this year, don't you think? Yeah, what a way to start. Why not start now? And uh, like I said, starting was probably the hardest thing to do. Mm -hmm. But once I started, it just continued. It, the project continued. And, you know, along with time management, you'll get there, guys. So, like I said, if you got there, you got something you want to start, whether it's a project, if it's uh, anything that you want to do, 
just start because that's the only way you're going to be able to actually finish it is you got to start it first and remember start with the end in mind but yes that's all for today guys just wanted to let y'all know that this is the reaction the book is finished we're going to be i'm going to be querying agents all week so pretty much tomorrow all the way through friday i'm going to be sending out query letters and um yes i, I can't really i can't really announce the name yet yeah because no, saying, like, that, be prepared you'll start doing more videos when it is published. yes and when the book is published the book will be you know i will be announcing where it's going to be available of course um which hopefully i'm hope i'm hopeful that um, May, June, that's my goal. So um, whoever I'm working with in the future, you know, I'm gonna make sure that these are my expectations. I wanna get this book published maybe May or June. So that way, you know, I can get feedback from you guys and I'll be doing YouTube videos on the book as well. So that way you can understand and see where I'm coming from as an author and as a writer. And um, yeah, like I said, if you got any questions, any comments, make sure you hit it down, put it in the uh, section below. I'll, I'm sure I respond pretty quickly to anything that you know anything is asked of me. But yeah, thank you for watching, man. Until next time, I see you guys later. Peace out.